Sarah Palin's Every Woman Act has heaped new attention on the female voter. Women of America aren't finished yet, and we can shatter that glass ceiling once and for all. But what will men be doing at the ballot box on November 4th? Turns out, they may not be there at all. I always like to vote early, give the Republicans a temporary lead. <laughs> a look at participation rates shows, over the past 40 years, 16 million men have slipped away from the voting booth. 16 million. That's roughly the population of Michigan and Indiana combined, and five times the number of votes that Bush won by in 2004. What's behind this male malaise? Here's NYU public policy professor Rogan Kirsch. The two most likely predictors of whether you're going to vote or not are how educated you are and how connected you are, how much in the social network of people who are also voting. There are more women than men in almost all educational fields, including things we think of as male, like engineering or business. Men are more likely to be isolated, more likely to spend time around computers or televisions in a, in a solo setting. Um, this kind of alienation translates directly into a, a, a lower inclination to turn out to vote, to get involved in other ways in politics as well. So men are less educated and more alienated. But who benefits if they stay at home? Any Democratic campaign is going to have a special um, set of messages crafted to appeal to women. And I think Obama's campaign has been no exception. Today, many women work to help support their families, but our pay is running, quote, softer ads, emphasizing issues we think of as more appealing to women. Conversely, there are Republican campaign advertisements. We're Americans and we'll never surrender that goes aggressively after this disaffected, you know, 35 to 54 age male. Don't tell me what we can't do. Don't middle and lower middle income group. Stronger and the world safe. But how does McCain get those men who are fundamentally disaffected out to vote? Some way to bring men together, even if it has nothing ostensibly to do with politics, just connecting them. I don't know if we need drum beating and men running through forest glens together, but conscious attempts to get men to connect to one another in socially bonded kinds of ways. That's all there is to it. For Newsweek, this is Tony DeCopel.